Okay, I am starting another project. I'm going to make, you saw me make these the other day, and I made them out of placemats. But I'm going to do one with different. I'm not going to, I'm going to do it out of regular material instead of placemats. I meant, yeah, instead of placemats. So, here, I'm going to show you some of it I've already done. This is the uh, bottom part of it. I, I, I got some of the fleece iron-on. Kind of makes it, it's kind of fluffy a little bit, but it sticks to the back. And it gives it a little structure. And so, you, have two, you cut two of those. And the <clears throat> I'm going to put down at the bottom, the link, what you, I've got them wrote down over here. Let's see. Okay. There's a, this, these right here, these outer ones right here are going to be eight and a half by 12. You're going to cut two of them and two interfacings. And of course, like I said, I've already ironed it because I did, I wanted to make the video not so long. So those are, those are ready. <clears throat> also, you're going to do um, the top part of it, which is going to be the same size. There is this. It's going to be the top part of your, yeah, the upper part. I was going to make sure I had the, and I'm I'll I'll I've got it wrote down, but I'll take a. I'll picture of it before I share the video and put the lit on there what sizes they are where you you can see them in the comments. But these are the same size. This is eight and a half by twelve. This is the the back. I've already sewn it on. Okay, this is the inside lining of this of the bag. And if you can see this, you see it's a lot bigger. This one right here is 16 by 12 it's the lining and it's 16 by 12 you need two of those and two of the interfacings and you want the fusible fleece it's what you put on it i believe it's the number 987 i think it's the number of the pellet that i interface and that i use anyway there's two of those i went ahead and ironed those on and got that part ready and again, I did that because of the video not trying to be so long. Okay. These right here. I cut this out right here. This right here is going to be the channel. So the size of it is 4 wide and 11, yeah, 11 inches long. And you're going to take and fold that back and iron it. You see how I've ironed it back? I haven't sewn it. On both of them. And you're going to go to your machine. And you're going to sew down right there. And sew down right here. And then I'll show you what we do when we get through with that. And also. This. Is our. Handle. And it's. The handle was a 9 by 4. 4 inches wide. And 9 inches long. Okay. And if you look, I got a little bit of interfacing right there. This is, I put, I ironed it on. It's on the left, put it on your left side. And what I done was I'm going to fold it in there and then fold that in there. You see about the same width. But this is the only one that, on the left-hand side, it's the only one that you're going to have it, the uh, interfacing. And that's just to give it more stability. Okay, and then once you iron, you go, go to, well, I'm right here at my iron, but I've already ironed it. You iron both of those. After you put that on there, you turn it on, up that way, and then turn the other one. And then you're going to turn it that way. You're going to go to your machine. You're going to go, say, down that way and down this way. And you can even do it a third way if you want to, if you want. But it just makes it more steady like that. So... Give me a minute. We're going to go iron those two down, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> I said, I'm back. He's asleep over here, and he answered me. Okay. 
what we're going to do now, I'm going to lay those that we've done to the side, and we'll get back to it in a few minutes. Let's turn to do the these. Let's lay this aside, and we're going to get the, the top and the bottom of the tote. This tote is like, um, like if you're if you're an embroidery person or if you're a knitting person, you can actually do the put your needle need um, needles and your your um yarn in there. And if you go somewhere, you can you always got something to do. You can um, sew on it, so it'll be fixed for you. Or you can use it for other stuff. There's no 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 into where how you can use it okay when you're when you're in a motor home it's kind of aggravating sometimes to sew but hmm, it's the only way i can do it that's what i'm going to do you pin the pretty sides together on this clip it where it won't slip out you're going to do quarter inch seams on most most of your seams. All right, we're going to do this one. I just wanted to make one. I've always done it with uh, uh, placemats because, to be honest with you, placemats are faster way to do it. But I just want, wanted to try it this way and and try some material that I, I liked and get it that way. Okay. We've got this pinned together. Again, this one. Oops, let's move it over just a speck. Yep. Okay, we're going to go over there and we're going to sew down at a quarter of an inch on that. And... I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. If you're wondering because I cut off my face, I just rather talk when you're seeing everything except my face. <laughs> so, that's how I do most of the time. Okay, you see where we sewn it? Now we're going to take it, and you see that seam right there? We want to and force that seam up like that and we're going to sew it i mean iron it up to where it straighten out that seam and have a good flat open surface i think this is pretty material that i got i think it's gonna turn out pretty good had to get four different ones i had three and two that would work for the bottom i'm gonna do another one later on i'm kind of make up some to sell at the craft show but um i actually found another piece that went with it that i thought would work good that's this i just have to show you where i where i put it Okay, now let's do the other one. Just get it to go up towards your top. I tell y'all a lot, the key to something pretty you sewing is ironing. I keep my iron right close to me when I'm sewing. But you always have to sew seams open. Okay. Okay. Now, remember we went and sewed these down. I want to press them just a little bit more. I didn't press the seam iron. This is going to be the channel 
that your rope goes through. I hear that steam. I love a steam iron. That thing wants to slide a little bit on this table, that ironing board, but I want you to know that's the best thing I ever got. I advise all people to get one of those. You don't have to keep, I mean, you don't have to get out something else. You just flip it. This is the ironing side, and the other side is the cutting side. Okay. What we're going to do. We're going to turn this up like this. Kind of crease it with your hand. There again, I'm going to press it. This is going to be your channel. You're going to have one on each side. Fold it in half. Okay, now that we've got it sewn, we're going to take and find the center of this. It'll be our first thing. And we're going to find the center of this. You can measure it, but I just do it like this. Kind of crease it down right there. So you can see it. And I'll take this and put it right there. And if this is the raw edges is up top, and that's what you want it to be, because that's where you're going to sew it. But let it out. You can kind of eye it. If you don't have it quite in the middle, you know you can move it over just a little bit. That's about right. Then you're going to take it and you're going to clip it. Now it's supposed to be a little shorter. Not supposed to be the same length as the rest of it. See how that is? Now we're going to take it, do the same thing to this other side. I'm just going to guess at it, I think. I think I'm that good. Yeah. If I'm not filming something, I'm just, I guess a lot. And when you when you sew a lot, that's just my hobby is sewing. I love sewing, making stuff. Used to sew for my daughter, make all of her dress clothes. She's a baby, all those ruffles and lace. Then when she got too big for it, it just broke my heart. But And then the same way with the grandbabies. Okay. Now... We're going to put that in a few minutes. Let's see. This is your strap. And or what you want to call it. Anyway, you can put it up here. And so your raw edge will go under it so when you go sew you're going to sew that to that right there just a little bit right across there to hold it 
And then, of course, when you put it together, it'll close those up. Okay, we're going to go to the machine. I'm going to sew. I want you to see. It's hard to see there. I'm going to sew from here all the way to this corner. Just these corners of this. And make sure you backspace because your straps are going to take a lot of... That's where your cord's going to go and you use that a lot. So I always backstitch it a lot. This is where you're going. We're going to, we're going to put, um, sew that right there to hold that. And of course, this one is the same way where we're going to sew it. And I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. You can see what we've done. See where I sewed that to the top. I sewed our little... That's our little handle that you can you know, have. Sewed that one together. So that's all we sewed together. Now we're going to take and... Leave that right there. We're going to take that, the, the one for the pocket, and you're going to fold it right sides together. Okay. We're going to go to the machine and sew this. We're going to leave it opening here. We're going to sew it all the way here. Leave it stop here. Start it back here. And leave an opening. So you can see again there. Well, really, you don't have... Well, it's decorative. You can do that one right there for strictly for decorative use. But just... You basically don't sew here because that's got a folded edge. And you can do that on the outside later. And this right here, you're just going to do that and you're going to turn it. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. You see what we did, We how we sewed it. Now, I'm going to take scissors whoops, and cut these corners where it'll, it will hold better. These are new scissors somebody gave me or something. They came with something, but... They're awful. Okay. Should have cut it right there, but I did. Okay. Um, with that opening right there that we got, we're going to turn it. Should be fairly easy. There's no line or anything. Just a little pocket. All right, when you get it turned, you're going to have to have something to turn it with. Ta-da! Do you know where I got these? My husband took me to eat the other night at, uh, what is it? C CF Chang's. CF Chang's. And um, he said, they had the chopsticks or fork, and I said, I want those chopsticks. Got them and put them in my pocket. He said, I knew exactly what you was going to do with them. He said, I knew you was going to get them. Because he knows how I turn stuff. And these are much stronger than what sewing ones I had. I actually broke one of them. But there you got to have something to poke them in, those points out. All right. What you're going to do is you're going, where you've got it fold, cut there, left it open. You want to smooth it out there. And you're going to take your iron and you're going to iron over it. My iron always has to get warm again. Is Mike and him left yet? We're camping with some friends. And they're going to go into town. Okay. 
Got it right there. Don't come out of these steps. They ain't right. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take, and there's where the, the it is that vote me. I'm going to put it at the bottom. I'm going to eye this. I'm going to put it about like that. And I want to pin it. I can't clip it, but I want to pin it. Let me show you these. I've had all kind of. Markers. These are Abati, Abati, I B O T H I. No, no, I B O T T I. Heat erasable pens for fabric. So you just run your iron over it and it erases them. They are so. I, I think I got them at Amazon because I had got some more that uh, somebody told me to get. These right here. Let me see. They're... I want you to see them because I don't want you to get them. All right. Here they are. They're friction pins, and they're supposed to go away. They're by pilot, and they're supposed to go away too when you mark, but they, the, that is really little. And it's hard to mark with it. You can get the mark on there. You can get this side. But I found these. And man, I like these. Okay. we get a pen. And I'm going to pin this to this one. It's just right. Okay, I'm going to lay that aside. And these right here, we're going to get them. And you're going to put right sides together, pretty sides together. But one of the main things that you got to do, make sure that these corners right here, you see that? Yeah, those corners match up perfect. And when you get them matched up perfect, clip them. It's better if you got any left. It's better to have it at the bottom than it is the top or the middle there. The top seemed better than having that part messed up, but I try to, I try to cut them just alike. Right there, I've got some of that lining that's a little longer, and I don't want it on there. And that makes it perfect. Okay, go to your other side and do the same thing. Okay. Put one more right there. Now you're going to put the front. Let's hope it does. I 
okay? So what I'm going to go do, I'm going to go to the machine, I'm going to sew about a quarter of an inch all the way down, all the way across there, and all the way up there. I'm glad I made this journey with you. If you like my papa's channel, Rogue Maps and Chaos, make sure to like and, and smash that subscribe button. We pray we'll see you in the rapture.